This is Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Today's topic is how to get a social security number during COVID-19. You know, you don't realize how important it is to have a social security number until you don't have one. The social security number is required to open up bank accounts, get medical insurance, get a driver's license, work, and even be able to be charged, well, lower income tax on a filing as a married tax return. It's important, it's necessary, but has been nearly impossible to get during the pandemic. Social Security requires an in-person meeting to apply for the number. And as Social Security offices, well, closed offices to the public back in March, this puts your new immigrant fiancé or spouse in between a rock and a hard place. Fortunately, I recently went through this process with a client of mine, and in this video, I will teach you what I found out so that you can get a Social Security number for your fiancé or spouse. I am Fred Wall, the Visa Coach, and I work for you to prepare and craft your application to submit to U.S. Immigration. And sometimes callers ask me, do I fill in the forms for them or do they do it themselves? Absolutely. It will be me filling in all the needed forms and putting together your application. And after we submit your application, I do not abandon you. I remain with you on this journey. I continue, well, by your side, personally helping and guiding you until that, well, happy day, your foreign partner calls to say she or he is on the way. Now, let's talk about how to get that elusive social security number while, well, social security offices are closed on, they are closed on COVID-19 lockdown. Now, normally, to obtain a Social Security number, SSN, after immigrating to the USA on a spouse, relative, or fiancé visa, one goes in person to the nearest Social Security Administration office, SSA, and presents identification and receives the Social Security number a month later. Unfortunately, during the COVID-19 pandemic, most Social Security offices are closed and not allowing in-person visits. This has, caught a lot, this has caused a lot of frustration and delays for new immigrants who need a social security number in order to open up bank accounts, get insurance, and apply for work. Fortunately, you can still get the social security number, and here is how. The procedure is not public described at their websites, so to find out exactly what to do and how, you must make a few phone calls to Social Security Administration to find out how and what to do in your area. And that's exactly what I did recently, and now I will share my experience with you. So first, the K-1 Fiancé Visa. A recently arrived K-1 Fiancé Visa traveler is eligible to obtain a Social Security number by applying between day 15 and day 60 after arrival. And even though publicly and officially SSA is closed to the public and not conducting in-person interviews, in practice they are conducting some interviews and currently will do so for your fiancé visa partner. Now the way to do this is as, as follows. Step one, well, just Google search for the telephone number of your local social security office. Call them. Identify yourself that you need a first-time social security number for a recently arrived K-1 fiancé visa holder. The key words to emphasize are first time. And the first operator you call probably can't help, but should redirect you to another number at another office. You may need to make a series of phone calls. Rinse and repeat until you finally reach the single office. There is always one actual office in your area that is handling first time cases. Step two, over the phone, provide detailed information about your fiance, including his or her local contact information and telephone numbers. Step three, well, eventually, a few days or weeks, you will be called back and your fiancé provided a date to come in for an in-person interview. The caller ID will say U.S. government, but it's not a spam call. It is Social Security. I almost blocked the call because I got many spam calls claiming to be something they are not, but this one is legit. An appointment date will be set, usually for a few days later, and your fiancé should bring passport, a filled-in Social Security number application, and I-94, and the I-94 is available online, this, this URL. Now, it's also a good idea to bring the original and a photocopy or a certified copy and photocopy of your fiancé's birth certificate. Eventually, the Social Security number will be issued. Now, if you are already married 
And if your new spouse has changed last name to yours, well, also bring the marriage certificate and a photocopy. Social Security may or may not issue the Social Security number in the married name. Either way, it's okay. But it's worthwhile to ask, as it would save you another trip later. If they prefer to issue in the maiden name, and they regularly do insist on this because they often only will issue a social security number to the name shown on the passport in I-94. But it's not a problem. Later, once you get green card or work authorization, return to social security, hopefully by then the pandemic is over, and update to the new married name. Now, regular immigration for a spouse or relative. In the case of regular immigration, such as your spouse arriving on a CR1 or IR1 visa, or a family member or diversity lottery winner, the process is similar. Step one, Google search for a local Social Security office's telephone number. Call and identify yourself that you need a first time Social Security number for a new immigrant. Emphasize first time. The first person you probably call can't help, but should redirect you to another call office and then rinse and repeat until you're talking to the office in your area assigned to handle such cases. Step two, well, they will give you their mailing address and instruct you, your immigrant to mail them the passport and the filled in social security number application form. Number three, send to the social security office the, the passport and it should have his arrival visa and the social security number application form included. Be sure to use certified mail with, with tracking. You don't want to take any chances that the passport gets lost. Step four, eventually social security will call and schedule a time to go to the designated office, meet with the clerk and be approved for the social security number. There, the clerk checks your passport ID page matches the applicant's face and the passport is returned at the time and social security number is issued by mail a week or two later. This was Fred Wall, the Visa Coach. Now, click here to sign up for a monthly newsletter and receive bonus ebooks. Here for YouTube's recommendation. Here for a full playlist of recent videos on immigration and green cards. And here to subscribe to the Visa Coach channel.